Once upon a time, there lived a woman who used to cook two pieces of bread for her. She used to keep one piece of bread daily in the afternoon near her open window for some person who might be hungry so that that person can take that bread and satisfy his hunger. There used to be an old monk who was going through the way of her house. That old monk saw the bread near the open window and used to take that bread and eat it and fill his stomach. Daily, that old monk used to take that bread prepared by that woman and eat it and while taking the bread used to say, whatever bad you do returns back to you and whatever good you do comes back to you two folds. This continued for several months. She used to prepare two breads, one for her and one for that old monk. Daily, the old monk used to pass through her house and would take the bread daily and used to eat it and say, whatever bad you do returns back to you and whatever good you do comes back to you two folds. By saying these words, he used to take the bread and he used to go to his hut. The woman one day thought that this old monk never says any thanks for giving a piece of bread and also he utters the same words daily after taking the bread from my house. I am getting irritated by the same words daily which are coming out of the mouth of the old monk. So she thought she would get rid of the old monk who was not saying any thanks nor was giving any blessings to her. So she decided to add poison to one bread which was prepared for that old monk. So the next day she implemented her plan and prepared a poisoned bread and as usual was keeping near the open window. But suddenly while keeping the bread near the window, her hands started shivering. She suddenly got repentance for her work, what she did, and thought that which is really wrong and sin to keep that poisoned bread to that old monk. By thinking like this, she took back the bread quickly from the window and then burned the bread into ashes. She then made a fresh bread and as daily she used to keep the bread near the window, kept it near the window. Then, as usual, the old monk came and took the bread and said the same words. Whatever bad you do returns back to you, and whatever good you do comes back to you two folds. By uttering these words, he took the bread and had gone away. That woman had a son who went in search of some work to a city so that he can earn some money. So many months passed away but her son never returned to her. The woman was daily praying for her son's safe return. One day her son knocked her door and the woman opened the door and to her surprise the woman saw her son who was standing in front of her. But her son was very weak and his clothes were also torn. The woman asked her son that, What happened, my son? You are looking very weak. Then her son replied, Mom, I did not find any work and while coming back to our village a mile away, I was about to die of hunger. But one old monk was going by that way. He said that he used to eat that bread daily and said that, My boy, eat this bread. I think your need for bread is more than mine. And he gave that bread to me and left from there. If I had not taken that bread, I would have died of hunger. Then that woman asked, Who was that good monk who gave you bread to eat? Then her son replied, Mom, I don't know who he was, 
but while going he said whatever bad you do returns back to you and whatever good you do comes back to you two folds then after listening to this the woman's face became pale and she thought that if i would have given the poison bread today to that old monk my son would have died because of the poison which i mixed in that bread then after this situation she understood the meaning of the words which were uttered by that old monk every day that whatever bad you do returns back to you and whatever good you do comes back to you two folds friends we have to learn from this story that whatever we do to someone if it is good comes back to us and whatever bad we do also comes back to us so be good and do good if we do good it comes back to us as joy and happiness which you experience in your future and whatever bad we do comes back to us as sufferings in our near future that suffering may be to the body or to the mind if we do bad to others it takes away our mental peace so always try to do good by helping the poor and needy thank you for watching friends if you like in my video please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon below please like and share the video please support my channel to grow